Welcome back, loves. Wow, it is crazy that I am officially in my third trimester. I'm covered in dog hair, but if you guys can see, we are officially, we are officially bumping. Um, also, I will link these for you guys below, but these are the Sphinx faux leather maternity leggings. So they've got the little stretchy thing. Stretch is all that I can wear right now. But I wanted to jump on and make a video for you guys, uh, pretty much dedicated to the uh, Louis Vuitton ski collection, AKA the pillow on the go. Um, I have so many thoughts and I can't wait to share it with you guys. And then I also have a little mini unboxing. I treated myself for Black Friday to a little SLG. So can't wait to unbox it with you guys. Nothing too crazy, but if you're excited to hear more about the bag and see what I got, stay tuned for the video. Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night like I'm leaving all the bad stuff. And trying to remain strong, I know it's good. Okay, so first off, this bag, I get, I think I get the most questions and compliments on this bag than any bag I've ever had. Um, people will literally stop me in the store and ask, about the bag, what it's called, um, or make just like comments like that it's cool. And it is cool, I think it's really different and I think the reasons why I love it are reasons why I think other people are drawn to it. It's a little bit different and when you guys watched my unboxing video, I talked about the pros and the cons like at a high level and I do have additional thoughts. Um, I also have some updates as far as, you know, inserts and organization within the bag. But I mean, the elephant in the room is the price, right? It is pretty steep for a bag that under my normal standards, you know, does not align. So I usually take into consideration whether a bag is all leather. I just think longevity wise, that's gonna be a testament and stand the test of time. So, when I bought this bag, I kind of broke my own rules. Um, I just kind of went with something that I thought was different, unique, limited, but fun. And I also think pretty practical. For me, you know, being pregnant, um, looking for future diaper bags, this kind of like fits the fancy bill. Like nobody needs a Louis Vuitton diaper bag, but if I'm gonna get one, like this is kind of, a cute option um, and I also love the on the go line you guys know I have the on the go in the GM size in the black leather and it's crazy because when I carry my laptop and all my work stuff in my GM bag it's heavier than this one this bag is so light and I also think it's just like a comfortable bag to carry it's 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 been great. I have nothing but positive thoughts about it. Um, I do still have some worries, right? The worries are around how it's gonna last, how it's gonna hold up. Um, but this type of like nylon is very well made. Um, I don't know what to compare it to because um, when I think about this type of nylon, I think about Prada. It's not the same type of nylon that I've seen on Prada. And it's also not the same type of nylon that I've seen like on a North Face vest, which I love. So I will obviously keep you guys posted on how like wear and tear is. But so far, like if I splash a little bit of like milk or coffee or cream uh, from a drink onto the bag, it just like dries and wipes right off. So it seems very practical in that sense. And then the fact that it's a smaller size, this is the MM size. Um, last year they came out with this bag in a GM size. So they switch it up, they do like different colors for different sizes. And I had seen the bag last year, thought it was really cute, but never saw it in person. So like I didn't really think too much about it. And then I saw, I think it was Monique 
from Instagram, she has this bag in the speedy version. And I started thinking like that bag looks so comfy and so cute and so different. And when I saw them come out with this version, I kind of had to get my hands on it. So you guys know the story, pre-ordered it, got it, fell in love with it and keeping it. So um, I will say I'm very like annoyingly <laughs> careful with bags. I also always want to make sure that the structure stands the test of time. This is a puffy pillowy bag. Like it's not meant to be very structured. But it would bother me if I spent so much money in a bag and then like every time I put it down, it would like slouch over. So I did end up getting a very like inexpensive insert from Amazon. Um, it's just the, I'll link it for you guys below. Um, I don't love it, but it serves a purpose. And the purpose was for me to see if it made a difference in how my bag sits. And it definitely does. Um, I think I'm gonna end up splurging for like a Zumoni or some Morga organizer for this bag because I definitely wanted to confirm that it made a difference. This organizer, I just don't like the way that there's like a flap on top and it makes it hard for things to come, to go in and out of the bag and I just need it to hold its structure. Maybe a couple additional pockets, but really the bag doesn't need like a cover for me. Um, if you stuff it adequately, like nothing's really going to come out. And I feel like this just organizer just isn't the right fit for it. So that's my thought um, on an organizer. But I definitely think for longevity, I'm going to end up just having something like as an insert for it to hold up. Um, I also got some recommendations for like diaper bag inserts. Um, if you guys have any other recommendations please leave them below or send me a dm on instagram because uh, i know there's like a whole world of like diaper bag inserts that you can just like plop into like tote bags so i'm definitely open to exploring that especially if this ends up being a diaper bag but as of right now i use it daily for work for errands running around it is so great um and like i wanted to just run through what fits how i wear it and any additional thoughts i mean the canvas pieces of this bag are really only on the interior right here right here strap and then there's one large piece that fits at the bottom it's a great location for something like this because even though it doesn't have feet it allows me to feel more comfortable like putting a bag somewhere knowing that it's not gonna like stain as easily and it actually slides really well under like an airplane seat. Um, sits well in the car and it does give it that structure from the bottom. And then the structure given from the top is just like making sure the handles stand up straight and these handles are like mush, they're so comfy. I do worry about staining on the handles because you know, lotion hand sanitizer like i'm not sure how this like light brown and dark brown monogram can uh nylon's gonna hold up so still really careful with that as far as like the organization that comes with the bag there's two pockets they both can hold like a wallet or a phone and then on the other side is a zippered pocket and i usually put like chapstick hair tie uh brush Things that like are beauty related that I don't need to grab too often, but can just sit in here and I don't really have to think about. And that has a zipper pocket. So let me take this out and just show you guys the inside again. Someone also told me that they saw this bag pulled inside out and that it looked so cute. So I'm still looking for a visual of what that would look like. So if you guys find it, please let me know. But um, the inside is this really pretty monogram nylon and the zipper pockets right there. And you can obviously see the canvas piece right here. Um, and then another question I get is around the longer straps. Um, when I'm running around, honestly, in the winter, I have like a big coat or something. So 
This is the way to, to wear it. That's how I wear it normally. It's easy to get in and out of. And then if I'm just like grabbing it from the car or something, the top handles serve that purpose. But uh, my qu the questions around whether it's a comfortable strap, yes, it is. I mean, to me, there's no difference between this and like the leather strap because just the weight of the bag is gonna determine whether it's a comfortable weight on your shoulder. So I'll end up like, if I'm carrying a ton, which sometimes I am, I usually carry my laptop, an agenda, an iPad. If I'm carrying all of that, like it does, you know, it does feel uncomfortable on the shoulders after a while, but convenient, convenience and like the weight of the bag without, without adding extra weight is, is great. Um, but let me show you guys what fits in here as far as my electronics and um the size of laptop that fits <laughs> i feel like i'm just like always kind of like out of breath these days so first one is my laptop this is a 13 inch macbook air my work laptop is also a 13 inch but it's a macbook pro so this one's a little bit thinner but really not by much and this is without an organizer in it this is how it slides right in so slides right in and you, you can't even see it, but it's in there. So ton of space. And I do think because it's this fabric, the uh, on the go traditionally at the MM on the go traditionally doesn't fit it as well as it does in this bag. And I'm just so happy it does because laptop is kind of essential for me to carry these days for work. Um, and then we have my iPad. This is an iPad mini. The case is so cute. Um, I got this case from Amazon. I just wanted something that like kind of looked like a book. Um, I think it was super cheap, but it also has like a little stand. Cute, easy to carry, and it has like a place for the pencil. So this is the iPad mini six and i got this for travel i actually also got this for like the future baby monitor i think it needs i wanted it to have like its own dedicated like ipad or just not being on my phone only um so that fits right in here like so much space you guys can even see um and then i have Chanel wallet. Um, you guys know that I love my uh, LV business card holder, but I figured I'd just show you because this is the, a bigger wallet um, that it fits right in one of these pockets. And then my phone, this is a 12 Pro, regular size, not a max, and it fits in this other pocket right here. So there is my phone and then the Chanel wallet. And then you have space to fit so much more. So if I wanted to take my agenda planner, I could take both the GM and the MM or one or the other. The GM fits in here perfectly. Um, but usually I'll have like a pair of sunglasses in here. Let me see what else is in here. I'll have a pair of sunglasses. This, these are my Chanel's. <clears throat> So cute, I'll try them on for you guys so you can see. And this is just the regular Chanel case that it comes with. And I can just put it right in here. And voila, still like so much more room to fit other things in. But like I said, like I don't want it to be too, too heavy because then it gets uncomfortable. But that is everything in my bag honestly perfect i do think you could go with a bigger laptop because it's so stretchy um i think maybe even like a 15 inch laptop would fit in here um but i don't have one so i can't actually like compare it for you guys but yeah so those are my thoughts on this bag Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I mean, if you can get your hands on it, I did see online that if you click on like store locator for this bag, you can see what stores still have it. And, um, you know, it is expensive, but <clears throat> seasonally 
you know, it's a fun like little winter bag. It's a fun mom bag. And I just feel like it's unique and different and I like it and it may not be a classic classic, but I've always kind of just bought what I like and not always gone with the most popular option. And this bag, tr truly indicative of that statement. Um, I also go to a lot of work meetings and I've always been like kind of like conscious of the bags that I bring. Nothing too flashy. Um, I have a Louis Vuitton Seren bag that I bring. I used to bring the on the go GM with me to all of my meetings, but now I only bring that bring it when I'm traveling for meetings because it holds so much. I just feel like it's a lot of bag to carry to like a one-off lunch meeting or a meeting in an office with clients. So this has actually kind of been like a fun little bag because it's different than a traditional, like what people would expect from a designer bag. So people don't almost like don't even realize it is. And if you know, you know, which I like, it's kind of like a, like if you understand the designer world, like you'll recognize it, but it's not screaming designer. So it's been a fun bag to bring right now for the winter and I've been using it more than any of my other bags. Um, I do have like smaller bags if I'm just like running out, but this is such a good day-to-day, -day, like daily tote. So as far as what I wear with this bag and how I style it, um, anything at leisure, which is pretty much all I can fit into like for the weekends. Uh, so like leggings and sneakers, or leggings and boots with a chunky sweater. It looks great. Um, I also wear like one piece jumpsuits for work and a blazer looks great. Um, even, I mean, today I'm like pretty dressed down. I have just a simple Ritzia tee. I have these Spanx leggings and a flannel. And I think it fits pretty well with this outfit. Um, it is like a casual bag, but it's all black. So you can definitely dress it up with whatever you're wearing. I would not wear this as like a night out bag. I would wear like a Chanel or the Louis Vuitton Felice, uh, Felice bag or my multi pochette as an, like a night out bag or my mini capucines. But this is like, it can go from day to night but I wouldn't grab it for a night out. It's just, it's like too bulky. But just like looks cute with like a sweatsuit, a matching sweatsuit, sneakers, boots, tall boots. It just, it's just cute. So I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this. I know it's a little bit different. And once again, if anyone has this line, whether it's the Speedy, the Pump Springs Mini, Please let me know how it's held up for you and any tips or tricks that you have on it. I will keep you guys all posted on anything that I learn about it. But it's a fun bag that they're, they've are they been bringing out kind of like every year and I hope they continue the tradition. I think this would be such a cute bag in the Palm Springs Mini but black. Like I would actually love that. Or it doesn't even have to be the Palm Springs Mini but like the Palm Springs MM like a fun backpack like that, I feel like would be a perfect addition for next year. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts, but I'm ready to unbox this little SLG. Okay, so I ended up splurging a little bit on an SLG that I actually haven't stopped thinking about. I just think it's like the cutest little addition. And so I wanted to unbox it with you guys. Um, I did purchase it over the weekend and it finally came in, so I figured. Let's open it. Okay. So random, not really though. And it is the, <laughs> my favorite color palette. This is the Louis Vuitton key pouch in the Empreant by color. And it is just so cute. I have the multi pochette in the bicolor line, but this one is with the smaller monogram on it. And I do have the key pouch in monogram canvas. 
but if you guys know or follow me at all I made the mistake of putting like wet dollar bills or cash in it and I cannot get this like weird smell out of it and it's just like I call it smelly money because like that's what it was in there and it made it smell but I can't like I've been trying to air it out any tips please give me but as of right now it's just like sitting on my vanity and I just don't use it because I cannot fathom putting like cards in there so this is one that I thought was so cute I have been waiting for them to come out with like the leather version because I do think that the leather allows for more cards and more cash to fit into um, these little pouches and it also just kind of goes with a ton of like the bags that I have that are black um, or cream versus just having the monogram canvas so I already had it um, and I really just thought this was so cute and I was worried that it was going to be a like a limited edition um, they did have this colorway in the zippy wallet the compact zippy wallet and I really liked it too but they don't carry it anymore I think you can buy it only pre-loved and I just thought this was a cute little grab and go that I can like loop onto something. Since I use my six ring key holder so much, I know that like smaller wallets work really well for me. So I just wanted to grab it and I think it's so cute. I also think as a like first time SLG, these are the best. They are such a good entry level price. They are functional and they're just cute there's nothing too crazy about them they hold keys they hold cash or cards uh change and they just look really cute um i do tend to like gift these for folks i just feel like it's a great gift um it's not too crazy of a price point and if you have someone in your life that really likes and appreciates like designer items it's a cute little gift that isn't like a crazy purchase but I love it and I can't wait to start using it once I start I can start comparing it in like amount that it holds I'll let you guys know but so far I felt comfortable purchasing the bicolor line in this pouch because I have the multi pochette and I just feel comfortable with like I was always nervous around scratching and staining and I just know the bicolor line is pretty resilient like I haven't had any issues whatsoever so I thought it'd be fun to go with this color versus the all black which I also love um, just because it's a little bit more fun and it even matches my outfit so that is what I got <laughs> I'm being pretty good I feel um, if this is all that I bought I also have been spending a ton of like time and effort on the baby nursery and adding items there so it's not just about me anymore so <laughs> Uh, that's been fun, but I'm glad I got to get a cute little piece to add to my collection. I just think it's so cute um, Let me know your guys thoughts. Did you expect me to get this? Have you seen this? Have you noticed the leather options for key clays? They used to be called key clays. They're now called key pouches but I always Love seeing them like on keys. I just think they're a classic and Having it in leather is just a no-brainer for me Okay guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm happy to give you guys more updates as they come on the pregnancy, on my luxury purchases, all of that. And I'll keep you guys posted. I need to do an updated SLG collection. I think I'm gonna do that next because I think I've added quite a few. Um, I might also pair that with like my designer sunglass, sunglasses collection because that's grown as well. Um, and I have thoughts on specific brands and all of that. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, you can find me on Instagram at Decor and Designer. I'm super, super active on there, posting daily content, bags of the day, outfits of the day, keeping you guys posted on baby bump status. And you guys are just the best community on there. So you can find me at Decor and Designer. And until next time, love you guys. Bye.